and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell. And here we are. Welcome to... Yeah, another lockdown week. Let's just see how... The week. Unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Another Sunday! Another lockdown day. Ah, they all merge into one in the end. Today, I am going to go for a little walk, just a short one. Glenn is going to pick me up at Slapton and then we're both going to go to the supermarket. We need essentials, don't worry, of a list. Toilet roll, olive oil, milk, sugar, you know, all those essentials. So we've got to go. I think we're going to go to Leighton Buzzards to the Waitrose there. I hope so. You know I love a good Waitrose. I am off down the towpath. If I don't walk now, I'm not going to walk. I know it. I know it. It'll get too late in the day and I'll find a million excuses just like I did yesterday. So everyone's racing to get through this lock before it shuts. In our lock, I call it our lock, the one that's closest to us, there was a tiny narrow beam and two quite big GRPs in there going through. My plan is to walk past here every day as long as the towpath's still open and I can update you on how it's going. So this is the barge that we saw on Saturday coming down with those lock gates on. Just look at the size of them. Man. They are whoppers. I think it's going to take almost a month to get these in. I will not let this mud defeat me. So I've had a walk. Mr Warner's picked me up. We're on our way to Waitrose to get some food. Right, we know the Waitrose is down here somewhere. We've just got to work out how to get in it. It's just over this roundabout on the left. Right, there's Waitrose. There it is. And there's the car park. Oh, we went in the wrong car park a minute ago. Yay! So there was a few non-essentials that went in. So I've got two of the most beautiful birthday cards I think I've ever seen. And a gardening magazine with lots of seeds. I'll show you that when we get back. So we've just stopped at Tesco's to do the recycling. We've driven around the car park a few times. Glenn was sure there was a gap in the fence that he could get out because it's near the Elson, but we can't find it. The recycling was glass only. That was no good because all ours was mixed in. Um, anyway, so that's no good. We can't recycle there. We can't get and we can't get through the fence to get um, to take the toilet. So this is, this is proving to be a faff. Do you remember what we said the last time we came to Leighton Buzzard to empty the toilet and do the rubbish? We said, it's not convenient and we're not going to come here again. Can I just reiterate, it's not convenient. So there's a gap in the fence there that Glenn has to jump down. It's a faff. I've got petrol, I've got diesel, we've got food, we've got rid of the rubbish and we've done the Elson. So... All in one, all within one square hundred feet. All the job's done. Let's get back. Right, loaded up. Let's go. Right, we're in. We're back. Let me pop you there. You all right? Right, let me show you some of the extra bits we got. So, I picked up. I'm so excited about reading this. Kitchen garden. All you need to know to fill your garden with delicious produce. Ten packets of seeds in there. Let's crack it open and have a look. Oh, well, I can't wait to sit down and read this. The secrets of great onions. Let me show you what seeds have we got. Tomatoes. Kale. I love a bit of kale. Leeks radishes, spring onions, carrots, and these are like stumpy carrots, ideal for window boxes or patio containers, perfect for my box out there, uh, lettuces, parsnips, and ca oh, cabbage, 
and peppers. Oh, I'm well happy with that. So not only did I get that, oh, we got two of Waitrose's sausage rolls. Oh, I love a good sausage roll, but you know that. I bought some chicken to add to our vegetarian dinner tonight from HelloFresh. So we got some bacon. Oh, I got some, some almond drink as well. I'm going to try and use that in tea. Trying to just do less dairy. I feel a big diet overhaul coming on. But I know if I say I'm not going to eat any junk food, you'll all laugh at me and say, Lisa, that only ever lasts two days. I oh, know. It's true. Anyway, I'm going to get this shopping put away. I'm going to sit down and read my magazine. Glenn said this morning that the water pressure in the taps was really low. We've now discovered the water pump is leaking oh i can see it leaking bloody hell it's gonna be i don't know how much water is going to be in the bottom of the boat so this is where it's leaking it's leaking from that joint there looks like it's been leaking for a while i've turned the water off at the moment that's a bugger not what i wanted to do today put it this way right so Glenn, you're taking a, apart a spare one we've got yeah, that leaks. So apparently it leaks. That's what it said in the in, in the in the paper. I'm just going to try and see what what's. Uh, I just I know what I'm doing really. How's this leaking on, on this corner here somewhere? I'm not going to know until I get it out. No, and it's got to come out. So it's got to come out, Glenn. It's got to come out. Is it coming out now? In a minute, yeah. I'm, are you, just, are you just, psyching yourself up for it? Yeah. <laughs> right, there you go, Mr. Warner. I think it's only just started leaking. I think so. Yeah. Because the other day, it changed tone. Like, it just sounded different. And that was only a couple of days ago. It's been a busy stretch this morning. Boat's trying to come through the lock bef before that lock shuts for a month. 3.5C, 25 psi. I think it's the same, but this is obviously a, an older maybe. model. Just nothing obvious, is there? Dickly, yeah. These are the pumps. Right. Now, when you twist this round, that one spins nice. They're off centre. Yeah. You see, it spins nice. Yeah. Our one. Oh yeah. That would make sense. That would make sense on the strange sound I was yeah. hearing. The bearing's gone there. Yeah. I could use this one. I'm going to use some sealant on it and see right. if I can make it work. Okay. <laughs> but I think we'll order a new one. Then. We'll order a new one. We'll try and make one good one out of two broken ones and cross our fingers. Yeah. This is either going to work or be an epic failure. <laughs> Mr. Warner. Mr. What you? I thought you was packing away. I was, but the other, the that side, which is tank side, was leaking too much. So what I've done... Is of this this is like the end that goes into the pump yeah so this is the old one and i uh, uh, the spare one i had came with two new ones and you can feel the difference okay. on the on the o-ring yeah you can feel that it's much more prominent and right. obviously when it goes in it yeah squeezes up a lot better so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna <laughs> I don't want to, but if I can, if I know, if I go to bed knowing it's not leaking, then I'll be much more happy using this one. Yeah. Until we get a new one. So okay. Just a... Go, go, Glenn, go. What an afternoon it's been. Anyway, while Mr. Warner's been trying to fix that, I've managed to clean the bathroom and the kitchen. It's all sparkly clean. So I'm just going to top this day off with a delicious vegetarian meal <laughs> although we did buy some chicken to go with it uh when we was at the shop earlier anyway let's let's get this going on okay. uh just an update glenn is very happy with the pump the last amendment he made it is now not leaking so this is what we've got roasted veg and lentil jumble we got a whole load of ingredients let's take that and turn it into it's not even eight o'clock yet pajamas are on and to be honest i'm going to be getting into bed very soon not because i'm tired because i want to read my book and it's warm and comfy in bed i just want to say good night it's been a bit of a stressy day with the uh leak and stuff 
um, not what we'd got planned but sometimes that's just the way it goes anyway night and i'll see you in the morning good morning and welcome to monday when i got up this morning there was just gorgeous light coming in through the curtains i had a look and there was the most beautiful sunrise it was just stunning well what a way to start the day glenn just got up first thing he's done had a look at the water pump it's leaking still so me bucket i thought was dry the bottom of that's full of water so i need to get that out of there disconnected so i'm off to midland chandry to get a new pump <laughs> got to get it done glenn has gone off to get the water pump i know he'll be very happy once that's fixed i know glenn he just don't like broken stuff so what am i doing today well obviously it's still locked down so can't go out or do anything I've got lots of work to do today rather than sitting at my desk i am gonna stand up and do a lot of work today because me hips and me back oh i feel like an old woman but i found that my laptop was too low this is how i've been working for the last couple of hours that is an upturned mixing bowl and a chopping board i'm gonna crack on with some work my plan is to go for a walk around about midday a daily focus to walk down uh towards lock 32 where they're doing the work and have a look basically just have a see how they're getting on just add a bit of interest to my daily walk so anyway i'm gonna crack on and i'll speak to you later just in bronston middle of chandlery is just around the corner new pump on board 79 pound get that back get it installed i did all my morning routine this morning oh yes i did i did my exercises i did my wim hof breathing my visualization my affirmations the only thing i didn't do which was writing my journal do you know why i think i managed to get everything done today i told myself last night i don't have to do it all perfectly just do some of it all of the time i've saved some bacon for mr warner let's go with the chili jam i think we can say that's the thing of beauty so i've just heard from glenn he's got the pump is on his way back that is good he'll feel much better when that's sorted and i'll feel much better when i can get the washing machine on so it's a win-win for everyone i am now going to speak to tara we're working out what we need to do this week to get lingo v up and running just back to the boat got the pump let's get this back get it fitted and get this bloody leak sorted out what i'm gonna do is um cut it all the way around yeah to a little bowl get this piece of wood yeah mount this on top of it yeah pop it in the bottom of there the one and two is the year and the g is the month so g a b c d e f g seventh month july july 2012 so the, yeah so the lady i spoke to her pump had been in her boat since 2009 so this is the bottom of the washing up bowl that i've cut down and the plan is is to put the piece of wood in, um, screw the pump to the wood, and then the, then if this leaks again, it will fill this up first before it goes into the bottom of the bilge of the boat. Right, I'm off for a walk. I'm going to leave Mr. Warner here. Oh, I was hoping to see a hive of activity down at this lot today. It's obviously not today that they're starting. Warner. oh that Take is love off. right there i couldn't get my boots off so glenn came and helped well i'm taking it that the fact that the steps are in is a good sign yeah. so there's good news and there's bad news the good news is the pump is fixed the bad news is the hoover is broken it's always something do you think it's terminal glenn i don't know i think I, there was a rubber seal that was off here and i think it might be um might have got dust in the motor. 
it definitely sounds like something's rattling. Oh, what was that? I keep seeing the bits fly out and then lose them. So basically, something inside is... Broken. Yeah. Glenn's resort into... Manual Hoover. <laughs> We were going to get a takeaway tonight. If we don't get new HelloFresh until Wednesday, tonight is the only night the takeaway is shut. Bad planning on that point. So we're just trying to work out what we're going to do for dinner. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, let's start with the good news. The good news is it's not as cold outside today. The bad news is it's grey and rainy. Anyway, that's not too bad. I am going to the office with Mr. Warner today. Glenn's got some dispatches to do and and we should be heading home early afternoon. We still have the wrong Fitbits on. Basically, I'm wearing Glenn's Fitbit and clocking up miles on his app. And he's not wearing mine because it's flat. So this is like day three now. We need to sort this out. So we're going to charge the other Fitbit. But once I've started clocking up miles on Glenn's Fitbit, I don't want to swap midday because I'd lose my miles. Does that make sense? Anyway, it's a Fitbit mess up disaster. Right. Going to walk down to the gate to open it. It's very slippy. I stepped out of the boat and I nearly slipped over within two steps of the boat. I think Glenn might be stuck. He's spinning. So I'm going to walk back. I'm going to have to push him, aren't I? He's just spinning. No, no. Thanks. Right. Just give it a little bit of a push, he says. Right. Here we go. Look at my strength. I really am Wonder Woman. There we go. Off he goes. Oh, spraying mud as he goes. So we just got to work. Bad news is, cafe shut. It's very quiet here. I mean, it's not usually overly busy anyway. Well, Mr. Warner, you have been busy. Well, after the disappointment of the cafe being shut when we got here, I've taken matters into my own hands. Been on Just Eat and ordered some bacon sandwiches and sausage rolls from a local cafe who deliver. Check me out. Great British Munch, that's what the place is called. Great British Munch, never had anything from there before our order is on the way what you got there glenn i think they're for a lathe and there's some, some loads of heads there as well they look like they bolt onto some sort of drive so i've come to wait outside for the just eat delivery man i bet you thought i'd never return the delivery driver was lost. The delivery driver got lost, basically. He rang me, he was like, where are you? I was like, where are you? And anyway, I talked to him. Navigationally, he was on hands free, and I was like, do a left ear, right there, turn around at the traffic lights. He found us. Oh, let's see what delights we have. We have bacon and egg bat, and then, special sausage roll i had to order the sausage rolls because it was 10 pound minimum uh delivery and the rolls only came to like seven pounds so anyway i had to order them to make the order up right let's give this the taste test well that was worth waiting for it's jolly tasty it's very tasty sausage roll I love a good sausage roll. Anyway, going back to my video editing now. So, Mr. Warner has just been back around to the post box and he's come back with a whole load of posts. So, let's see what he's got. Basically, this one is one that my dad used to have and it, the bloke said to me it was one of the better ones he had and it works fully functional and he's given me a couple of mics for this. Yeah, nostalgic. And this one was the actual original one I purchased, which is actually a home base. How much do you think that cost me? Oh, Glenn, I dread to think. How much do you think? 20 quid. 20 quid. What did you get for 20 quid? I might have bought the plug. No, I paid 40 for it. Bloody hell. That's not as cheap. That's yeah, good. cheap as chips, that is, Glenn. Well, well, Please let our next post be more exciting. I think this might be another. I don't think, I don't know what Oh, Glenn, no, not another. I don't know anything else. 
Not another bloody CB. I don't know. It's from Cornwall. It might be. Glenn, it honestly. Might be. No, no, but I'm trying to buy ones that work. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bonus. Oh, no, no, no. This is no not, this it's one. not CB? No. This Thank is, goodness. This, you know, you, you bought me for Christmas. Yes. The uh, works thing. Yeah. And the bloke said get some more batteries. Okay. So I've managed to get five batteries, two yeah. chargers for 40 quid. Wow. And uh, these these batteries on on Amazon are twenty nine ninety nine each. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that's I'll, a bargain. I'll half the staples for the for the shed. I went a bit over the top. On Did you go a bit over the top? Well, it's quite heavy duty all round, isn't it? I yeah. Know. These they were really cheap. But they're quite. Let's expensive. have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so for the shed. One on the lid, one for the doors. Okie doke. They both cost me six pound ninety five. The whole bill was okay. Bargain. 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 Okay, so that's that. Okay, please let this post get more exciting. No, it's not. Please let it get more exciting. Puzzling. When when the postman arrives, Glenn feels it's like Christmas. What? Oh, it's a nozzle for me can that's not exciting. <laughs> So for your petrol can, yeah, the nozzle broke. So okay, so exciting. Just, yeah. Not. Again, that wasn't too expensive. And what's that? This. I've got two of these. Mm -hmm. These are the little switches. This is the, hopefully going to be the remote control yeah. on off to the heating. Oh. If I can work out how to wire it up. Okay. You wire it up so it switches the switch on rather than going having to push the button. Okay, it's not, it's not over yet. It's not going to get better for you. <laughs> a seven day timer. A, a seven day timer. So we've got a remote control and a seven day timer. Yeah. And this is what Barbara did in her boat. Yeah. And basically it's very simple, very easy to operate. This is the only steps I'm getting in today. Oh, I can't wait to get back to the boat. I've dropped my stuff off at the boat. I'm just going back to give Mr Warner a hand. Can I help you? That was a lot of stuff to carry back. I can't tell you how good it feels when we get back to the boat, when we've had to carry loads down the muddy path. It's such a good feeling, such a good feeling. Anyway, I wanted to show you this beautiful painting. As many of you know, Wendy, who owned the boat before us, she's an artist who paints the most beautiful pictures. We'd been looking after some of her pictures. She has gifted me this beautiful picture. Let me show you. Oh, look at this. It is gorgeous. There's narrow boats. There's under the water. There's above the water absolutely beautiful i know just where this is gonna go so tonight's delicious dinner is this takeaway meal bag for two with extra prawn crackers it's a feast good morning and welcome to wednesday i feel like not a... any old wednesday is it no it's not any old wednesday glenn it's a very wet wednesday a wet wednesday in winter oh the joys oh the joys Anyway, that's not dampening my spirits. Oh no. So later today, we're going over to see my mum. She's in our bubble and she's got our food. That's where we have our HelloFresh delivered to. And we're going to treat my mum to a fish and chip lunch. That's the plan for today. I have had a shower, blow dried, and straightened my hair. I woke up this morning. It was like that, wasn't it, Glenn? It was a bit Jedward. It, it was a bit Jedward. Can I get some coal? I'm not talking about from the shops or anything. No, just from the other end of the boat. From your coal store. Can I say our boat is toasty warm today? The heating's been on twice. We've, twice. We've had hot water. Go, Glenn, go. Tractor coming by, cutting the grass. It's raining, oh my straightened hair, just drizzly. Right, Mr Warner, I'll go and open the gate, get some more steps in. Oh, it's so muddy. So just arrived at my mum's, walking up to get the fish and chips. So that is our visit to my mum done. We've had fish and chips, we've picked up the HelloFresh, we're on our way back to the boat now. Robot. It's a horrible day out here, Mr. Warner. Uh, and it's forecast to rain all today 
all night and all tomorrow. A lot of puddles, a lot of rain, a lot of mud. We've got it all. The tractor has been up and down the muddy path today and guess what? It's even muddier if there could have been such a thing. We made it. Let me grab the Hello Fresh box and I'll show you what we got. Fingers crossed we've got recipe cards in this box. I forgot to choose our meals from Hello Fresh. So I have chosen these. Oh, there's recipe cards. Let's see what we got. Let me get my glasses on. Okay, Harissa chicken with roasted cauliflower. There's one to look forward to. Spicy prawn pasta. Mm. I'm not a huge pasta fan, but uh, veggie noodle stir fry. I have some chicken for that. And prawn and tomato risotto. Got prawn going on in there. And pork noodles. What else have I got in my box for my mum? Well. She's given me my birthday card. My birthday's not till the end of the month, but my mum is worried that the government may withdraw support bubbles. So she was like, take your birthday card just in case I don't see you. So I was like, all right. So I've got a birthday card already. Mum didn't drink these at Christmas, so she's given me two of these. Oh, I do love one of those when I'm cooking dinner. And she's given me, oh, some sticky golden syrup so i can make some flapjacks pork noodles we're going with it right not too many ingredients on this one so let's turn this into something delicious do you know what this is one of these really easy hello fresh meals and it smells so good here we go that that was super quick that boot look look how much rain we've had oh that's crazy good morning good morning and welcome to thursday so we have a lakeside mooring i don't know if you can see but the field next to us actually is looking like a lake glenn's gone to get some shopping for his mum i'm doing some exciting stuff on my computer i'm building a website oh it's been so long since i've built a website it's taken me ages why am i doing that just because it's locked down and i just decided to start a new project as you know me and louise we're doing this walk 1000 miles well she's strapped a camera to the back of her great dane called willow and basically takes us along for a walk so while i've been working i've been watching that anyway I am going to go out for a walk. As you saw earlier, my boots were soaking wet. In fact, just full of water. The Glen put them by the fire for me, which was lovely, but that one's still not dry. I'm just going to get a cloth and try and dry the inside of it. Every part of me does not want to go out for this walk today. Just saying. The only reason I'm going is because Louise is nagging me. Did I say nag? I meant support. She's supporting me to become fitter, stronger, healthier and to walk a thousand miles. Oh, it's cold out here. They forecast snow in a lot of places later. I've just walked down to this lock expecting it to be a hive of activity and it's not. I'm heading back now. I've just done a big like foot in the air slip. I managed to catch myself before I hit the deck but that's enough. Honestly I need danger money for this walk. It is so wet and slippy. I haven't done hardly anywhere near the amount of miles that I wanted to do today but at least I got out. This is a field next to the towpath. Oh. Well, that wasn't the longest walk I've done, but I'm glad I got out. Well, I didn't do a very good job of keeping that far alight, did I? So, got lots of jobs to do. Gonna sit back down at my computer. Oh no, dull, dull, dull. Now that is what you call a fire. My fire lighting skills are getting better. 
Jeff just messaged me and asked me if I could just have a walk down, check his boat's all right, because we've had so much rain. The water's really, really high. Oh yeah, they're so tight. I'm going to have to loosen those off. Loosen this one off as well. Right, let's go back. So what else can you do on a Thursday rainy afternoon? I know what you can do. You can make flapjack. In you go. Just melting some leftover chocolate to drizzle on top. Well, that is mighty fine flapjack. We've just got to wait for it to cool down now. Spicy prawn pasta. Let's do that one. Just a handful of ingredients. Right, here we go. Spicy prawn pasta. Good morning to you and welcome to Friday. Oh, it's a Friday. It, Friday still feel good, even though there's no difference between a Monday, a Wednesday, a Sunday and a Friday. No difference, but they still feel good Fridays. We're starting the day right. Mr Warner is making us a sausage sandwich. The combination of chilli jam and cheese and sausage, well, that is the way to start the day. Thank you. So, what do we reckon, Glenn? Do we think he's just a... a I don't mean he is, Barry. I think he's some sort of, like, chap in your... I don't know. I don't know either. I'm going to have a look in my dad's bird book. Yeah, I think he is a chaffinch. Good on him. <laughs> you just opened the page and picked a bird, no, didn't I you? I did, and I said chaffinch before. You I did, did yeah. Or he could be like that, house sparrow. Mm, I don't think he is. Or like that. Dirty sparrow. <laughs> That's a tree sparrow. He's a bit <laughs> dishevelled. I think he's a little bit more refined than that. He looks a bit more like that. What do you think? There's loads of birds, aren't there? bullfinch i think we've had a bullfinch a twit today's the day i've got to finish this I've got to hinge the top and make a couple of doors to go on it then i want to get the generator in it today when we can we're going to get some slabs to go down the front here because it is quite muddy and horrible so we're going to dig that out put sort of three slabs in front of it just to finish it off nice i've been working all morning mr warner has been out there making doors for his shed all morning i'll see how he's doing on my way past before i put my boots on i just want to show you my whopping plant it's gone rogue just look at that it's it's a whopper don't know what to say about that. So the brackets are in. I bought the wrong ones really, but they'll do the job. The hinges, so this top now hinges up like that. Doors are making out of two of these thick ones. And then the little ones I bought, got off the pallet yesterday or Tuesday. The idea is just to brace that and then the underside, the underside would be the front of the door. Just got to work out how to get it all to hold together. Not my forte, but I'll give it a go. See what I can uh, come up with. Let's see how Mr. Warner's doing. That's not the front, the other side the front. But they're a bit squee with. So. I like your work, mate. Oh no, it's not very good. It's collapsing. It's <laughs> but that's all I've got at the moment. Two of these. There and there. And then one. Across like that. Okie doke. And screw it in and then I'll, that's one door done and then I'll do the other one and I'll hang that on first. Should, if I've done my figures right it should all work out. If I haven't then not it won't. <laughs> well good luck with that. Right here we go. Still no activity at the lock today. Nothing going on. There we go, one door ready. Oh, the other one's ready. And the other one's ready. 
Clifton. Oh, Glenn, I love your doors. But the whole thing's all right, isn't it? Yeah. It looks oh. great. You've done a really good job. And also I'm putting a plug on the outside of it so that the we can just plug the generator in and take the lead out if we're going out and leave the generator in there. Pot noodle and tea, please, Mrs. Warner. Pot noodle and tea. Mm. Right, kettle on for a cup of tea. Me and Glenn are like little and large. My favourite teacup is like a bucket. You can fit so much tea in there. Glenn prefers this bone china little cup. It's his favourite cup. If you've got a favourite teacup, tell me about it. Does that constitute as a balanced meal, do you reckon? Right, pot noodle and tea done, Mr Warner. What are you yeah. doing next? I'm gonna, I've still got to finish putting the doors on, but this is me hasp and staple. Okay. We'll see how we'll get on. Okay. Righty, I've got some stuff to take out to the compost bin. Let's go out and see how Mr Warner's getting on. Mr Warner, how are you getting on? I'm done for today. The generator's in there now. Oh yeah, someone's just said on YouTube, uh, are you worried about ventilation? No, it's so many holes in it. I am going to put some in anyway, but um, this can go right back. You've got holes at the top. So even with, you know, right up here there's a big gap. Mm. So there's it's so many places for fumes to, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prop this open a little bit tonight. Okay. I don't think I need to worry about it, but I'm going to anyway. Nice. Oh, that is not the lot that's going on. It, but nice on. job, Mr. Warner. It's done. I've just got out of the shower. While the generator's on, I'm gonna straighten my hair and stick the washing machine on. I've got so much washing to do. Okay, hair straightened, washing machine on. Oh, the generator went through its paces. I had everything on at the same time in the generator. It still kept going. Washing on, hair done, ready for the day. Nothing to do. So, today's job is sorting out Matilli lamps. Matilli lamps are quite old fashioned pump paraffin lamps. They don't use obviously any power or anything, just a bit of paraffin. So I've got a whole selection of them here after a few purchases and I've got this, re these, this reseal kit. So various of the seals over time just perish where they get left. I'm gonna replace some of these and uh, get them going. I'll come back to you once I've done a bit. I'm gonna go for a walk while the sun is shining. So me and Sally, we've come for a walk we're keeping a nice safe distance apart but just look how wet it is it is certainly very muddy and the sun that i was like very excited about the sun there de <laughs> there definitely seems to be some black clouds coming so we haven't got much further to go and then we're going to turn back first of all we've got to get through this oh that is deep, Sally, that is so close to the top of your boot there. Go out for a walk, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Do you want to turn back now, Sally? We're so close to where we're going. We can do it. We only want to go to that bridge down there. It's our turning point. God, and my feet are wet now anyway. Slow and steady. We've just come to our turning point, just about to turn round. Look what Sally spotted. That is the first dafts of the year. Does that mean spring's on its way? Here we go, done the tilly lamps, put new seals in all of them. Some of them are better than others, as in they're a bit easier to do, but they've uh, all got new mantles in them. So I'm gonna see if they will now light. It's usually better to do this at night, but we'll give it a go. So we've got, I've got this little, little gadget here it's got an inflated spirit in, which is burning i don't know if you can see it it's burning the um, mantle at the top it goes black and it needs to go white to light it so you can see it's going black in there which is what we want and it's getting hot I had a bit of a leak on this one i managed to get it going so that one's working now just going to try the other one now so this one's going but not not as it should be this one's fine all working good this one i think we've still got i've still got still got a pump issue the other's going, so that'll do for me at the moment. Do it, Sally, come on. You can do it. Oh, bloody hell. Whose idea was this? So, there you go. 
quite Not a dull week. Not a boat lockdown week. How long can this last for? I really don't know. So I've got quite a few things I want to tell you about. Number one, Vloggle. This is the name of the new narrow boat review channel. Do you remember in November lockdown, I had this brilliant idea? Well, me and Samuel have been working on it since November and his computer had a catastrophic failure just before Christmas when we were ready to launch. It's back up and running and the first episode is gonna be going out Monday. So that's Ooh. tomorrow. I might be able to link the channel but the video won't go up till Monday. Mm. Anyway, anyway, if you go over and have a look, I would gladly take your feedback. So that's Vloggle. The other thing is I'm building a life full of meaning website purely for a lockdown project. So that has been going on this week. Hopefully by next week, that may be ready too. And the other thing I've got to tell you is I've not been on my phone so much this week i've been just trying to just have some phone free time and it has made me very bad at responding to comments so if you've left a comment on youtube facebook sent me an email anyway and i haven't got back to you number one i apologize and number two i will get back to you just bear with so just wanted to say sorry for the delay mm. so that's all i gotta say i've just got to say hello Vina. that's it another lockdown week done another one ahead of us at the moment there's no sort of like end date really it's just a it's just like a rolling lockdown it is another... thanks for watching anyway and thanks for commenting even though lisa's not replied to you sorry about sorry that. sorry I can't get the staff <laughs> Maybe you could respond to a few oh, comments. I'm not very good at it. You're, you're, he, you're, he's the pro, she's got all the time in the world. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Cheers, see ya. Take care, bye. bye.